So Adam, this thing looks old, man. This is a classic, but I got something much older than this. It actually predates the flux that we put on stick rods. Check this thing out. What the heck is Pretty this Pretty sweet, huh? This is actually uh, twin carbon arc welding. TCAW, it's actually a recognized process. That was patented in 1874. We didn't start putting flux on stick rods till the mid 1920s. How exactly does this work? All right, so if we went back to the you know late 1800s, we didn't have all this welding equipment, right? We had designed electricity, we had figured that out, and it was it was 60 hertz, and uh, we had come up with carbon rods, the same kind of thing you would use for carbon arc gouging. So we're gonna take two of these carbon rods. And then we're gonna put them between these two little holders on here. And then you're gonna do the little slidey thing and you're gonna make them touch. And when they touch, you're gonna initiate an arc between the two of these. And this is like really, really old school TIG welding. And we're gonna send some current through this. Now, as you fast forwarded, we figured out how to use these tombstones, right? And we kind of went to these rods. Well, if you were on a farm and you didn't have an oxy fuel torch, but you needed to heat up something to either bend it, melt it, a little bit of cutting with it, depending on the thickness of material, you could actually still use this with this at 60 hertz. But then you got guys that get really curious about stuff, mm -hmm. and instead of using this and this, I say, wait a minute, I can use one of these. Now I can adjust my alternating current, my frequency. I can open up using a foot pedal. I got independent balance. I got amplitude adjustments. I can even change the waveform on AC. So something from 1874 on something from 2024. We're covering about 150 years of welding knowledge in a very short window. Want to try it? I would love this to. This stuff's so cool. We're going to hook up these two leads. And because we're running on alternating current, it's a 50-50 balance. It does not matter which one you hook to which. You're going to put one of them inside the stick stinger and you're going to clamp one of them inside the ground clamp. Idiot proof. I like that. We just got to make sure those don't touch once they're alive. Okay. All right, now we've got these in here at an angle. The same way that sharpening the tip of your tungsten will change your penetration profile, changing the angle that you put these at will change your penetration profile. So we don't actually have an arc connecting between the carbon rod and the plate. It's simply an arc between these two. And then we're going to take some filler. I think we got some TIG filler over here we'll use. And we'll just go in here, almost like your gas welding, mm -hmm. and add a little filler. And if you need a little bit less penetration, you can open that arc up a little bit. It'll get rid of the, the dig in as much. If you want to tighten it up a little bit, bring them a little bit closer together. I'm going to tweak this adjustment just a little bit based on the fact that we're using some eighth inch material here. That looks pretty good, right? Yeah. You're okay with that? You have no idea. Whatever I tell you, you're going to like. Here we are. We're all set. Now I'm going to crank up the machine. We're going to be right around 40 amps or so. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, machine is on. As soon as you bring those two together, it will start welding. I don't want you to weld on my table, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of backing here. And then you're gonna initiate an arc between those two. You ready? And we'll see what happens. You need a little more amperage? I think I need more amperage. Got you a little more amperage. Let's see what happens here. Okay. All right. A little more gap between them, a little more gap between them. There you go, a little bit closer. There you go. In 1890, you'd have been the guy to call to weld stuff together. This is the process. You're the TIG welder, you're the man. I'm the man. So we've got this old technology, which is cool, but it's more fun to do when we get more bells and whistles. So let's swap over to a modern equipment and see what we can dial in on. That is crazy. I feel, like, I feel like I'm blowing your poor mind. <laughs> well, they knew what they were doing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up this dynasty for this. So first we're gonna swap it over to alternating current. I'm gonna go in here on the background settings. I'm gonna set my remote to uh, AC saw. We got a soft waveform, that'll be, that'll be fine for what we're doing. Turning off my pre-flow and post-flow. I don't have to worry about any gas flow going on. I'm gonna go over to my balance, ENEP. I'm gonna have those set the same. My balance though, I need to turn down. I need a 50-50, which is gonna help both of those electrodes melt evenly. Otherwise, you're melting one faster than the other. Most of our modern machines are running at about 120 hertz as like their baseline. 
So we'll start 120 hertz, which is actually double of what you were at. More beans. More beans, pulsing's off, and our amperage is gonna be, oh, let's try it right around 70 amps and see what we get here. When you're doing this, I want you to like, keep this a little more upright, and then what we're gonna do is try and get these to melt before we add filler. So remember your filler's your chiller just like TIG. Let's see how this works though at 120 hertz on a soft wave. A foot pedal. Should we try it with the high frequency of the foot pedal? Yes. All right, let's give this a shot. So you can use the foot pedal to adjust your amperage. You're not just locked into whatever the machine's got. So I'm gonna give you a little extra. So you got room to throttle and I'm gonna bump your frequency up. You were at 120. Let's see what this looks like at more like 300 Hertz. I wanna go back, I wanna go back home. This is actually pretty awesome because you could do brazing with this, you could do welding with this, you could do heating with this, and you're 150 years ago. I mean, running off the tombstone wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad, but now you got foot pedal take. You think we could throw the pulse on top of it? <laughs> Can we? Uh, let's, let's try it. I've seen you weld, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> <laughs> bro. We stopped in Knoxville, but it <laughs> that guy. Let's just say I was doing fine before we started out and all that. You were doing pretty good. <laughs> you were doing pretty good. <laughs> all right, Junior, let's see what you got here. You are pulsing tandem carbon arc welding at 300 hertz with 150 year old technology. How cool is this? <laughs> Woo! That's hot as hell. Man, that's bright, that's hot, but let's grab a wire brush and see what it looks like on the inside. Let's see how you did. All right. 150 year old technology. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking weld that you laid down. You got a little undercut over the side, but I mean, you were learning. It's your very first time and it is 150 year old technology, but that'll shoot. I think so. It's got full pen. I don't believe you. Considering that you're using two carbon arc rods, history's mysteries, here you are. Well, that was pretty wild. I felt like I did go back in time. I mean, if you think about this, could you imagine being in your little workshop 150 years ago and you're fixing the wagon wheels using this? It would definitely get someone down the Oregon Trail. Died from dysentery. <laughs> dysentery, every time. I really appreciate you saying you had a big surprise and you didn't let me down. I'll bet you never saw this one coming. Next up will be atomic hydrogen. And then we got rods without flux on them, and then we got flux, and then we've got electron beam welding where we can actually generate the inside of the powdered metals to align grain structure how we want. We've come a long way in 150 years, haven't we? A long way. We went from this to laser welding. If you wanna see any more weird processes like this, let us know. <laughs>